you gotta have one of these things. It's a lifesaver. In China, it is n a necessity. Oh, yeah, because you never know what the AQI is gonna be. You need one of these things. I mean, especially in Beijing. I mean, come on, look at the sky. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's nice today. But one of the costs, some of the worst air quality in the world. The pollution is at alarming levels. Which closed schools and airports. But the buildings over there are barely visible. Most people are not outdoors, and if they are, many of them are wearing masks. Over the past four decades, China's economy has maintained high-speed growth and drawn worldwide attention with its achievements. However, the pollution that comes with it particularly that of the air, has also drawn worldwide attention. Smog was once even a synonym of China. I remember before the first time that I came, everyone said to me, be careful of the air. Um, <laughs> I didn't really know what to expect. In my impression is continuous uh, almost one week, uh, even longer. And also the area is not Beijing, it's not Hebei, is also including Shanxi, Shandong, and uh, Henan province. So it's large area and uh, long uh, time. The Great London smog at the end of the last century or early into this century in, in Los Angeles, the smog starting in the 40s, really for several decades around then. We have a similarities with London because of coal. We have a similarities with uh, Los Angeles because of the vehicle. But in, in total, we have, I think it's more complex and more difficulties to handle. In 2013, the average number of smog days reached its highest record in China in 52 years. Smog seriously threatened people's health, their daily lives, and work. Its impact had extended to every socioeconomic aspect. Calls to tackle the smog were accumulating. But unlike London or Los Angeles, China's air pollution was more complicated and compounded by varying regional climates and environments. So the challenge to control the smog was more significant. Carol, you want to try it? <laughs> what do you think about the air quality in China? Of course the pollution is all over in the world. London might be a little bit better, but we still got the same issues. Sometimes it's quite harsh, but most of the time it's alright. I find I don't have to wear a mask as often. The, the overall trend is usually getting better in a decent Beijing. It took a while in the United States, my country, for us to pay attention to air pollution, and then once we did, it took a while to get a handle on it. Well, the Clean Air Act, it, which was passed in the late 1960s and really went into effect in, around 1970, in London they passed uh, the London Clean Air Act, and in California they passed a similar kind of a law. Um, and it wasn't long after that that the air started getting cleaner. If you look at the history of uh, Los Angeles, London, it's more than 15 years. But today, we should not use in 15 years or 16 years because you have a more historic e experience. China has known a lot from, from U US and uh, Europe. 2012, China just issued the new air quality standards. That is the first time we put the PM 2.5 in national air quality standards. And then the following uh, the action plan uh, 2013. You need the supporting to the legislation and uh, the, the standards and regulation. Smog control needs to be preceded by relevant legislation. China improved its dedicated laws, regulations, and emission standards while introducing new ones, preventing and controlling air pollution, and providing critical support for smog control. But the key to smog control and air quality improvement lies in eliminating the root causes and scientifically understanding what and how air pollutants are formed so that they may be prevented and controlled. China is resorting to technology to tackle smog and achieve its environmental protection targets. Oh, I gotta figure out a way to sell these masks. Wow. 
once we have had this tool, so we took the tool out to do the measurement. We did the measurement in Beijing and also in Tibet, in Shanghai as well, mm -hmm. and in Wudang Mountains. Mm -hmm. Some measurement we did was in the relatively polluted environment. Mm -hmm. In comparison, we did it in a clean environment, like mm -hmm. in Tibet and yeah. Wudang Mountains. Uh -huh. So by doing the comparison, you can see how the formation are different in uh -huh. different regions. We started to work on this about 10 years ago. Oh my yes, before we work on it, the whole community in the world, we have no tools to marry them. Advanced science and technology and big data applications allow us to avoid a traditionally rigid management model in online monitoring, differential management, and staggering peak production. Data also makes pollution containment more accurate and efficient. We may by no means sacrifice our eco-environment for temporary economic development. We strive to maintain economic growth while effectively controlling pollution. I do believe that one of the things that China has going for it that could help to speed up um, progress is a real embrace of technology. There's been quite a bit of progress that's made in the, in the last few years in reducing emissions. Some people say that that's simply due to an economic slowdown. When you talk about this slowing down, actually in China, recent uh, 10 years, the decrease is a growth rate decrease, but it is still growth. <laughs> you, you say the Beijing's GDP is going up, which means the activity is increased and the total generation of the pollution is increased. But the actual situation is the total emission is decreased. We're never going to win if the only way that we're going to deal with pollution is to put it, take it outside the economy. Mm -hmm. We have to deal with it within the economy yeah, because right. we live within the economy. Yeah. In China, in different regions, we say the environment action will help to improve the economy pattern mm -hmm. more healthy, not only for environmental parts, mm -hmm. but also for market competition. Only by persevering in scientific control may the environment and economy develop in harmony. After five years of efforts, China achieved emission reduction results that took developed Western countries decades to attain. China's efforts in this regard once again draw global attention. The 2019 World Environment Day will focus on air pollution. This time as the host, China will showcase to the world its accomplishments in smog control. Even though like it's been better, like for me it's really not good. Like I'm really not used to it, like because you really smell the, the pollution too. Overall it's getting better, but it still has a long way to go. It to me it's there's sort of not an there's there isn't really that break point uh, because we're still having some kind of impact. It's like saying you know, I'm going to go on a diet, I'm going to lose 10 pounds, mm -hmm. but if at the end of the diet I go back to my old way of eating, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to gain the 10 pounds back. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you really have to sort of change your lifestyle, and I think of it the same way when it relates to air pollution, is we can use control technology to get to a certain point, mm -hmm. uh, but then we really have to sort of change the fundamentals about the way that we live on this earth. Yeah, fully agree with you. We have a lot of working to do for the future uh, improvement. The environment is people's livelihood. Forest-covered mountains are beautiful. The blue sky is a bliss. In 2018, the ratio of average good air days in 338 prefecture-level cities and above was 79.3% which was 1.3 percentage points higher than last year. In the past three years, Beijing achieved a reduction in PM2.5 pollution levels that took Los Angeles, U.S. 12 years to complete. China has made outstanding achievements in tackling air pollution. But if China wants to further significantly reduce the concentration of PM2.5 in the near future, and strives to increase the proportion of average good air days to the aim of over 80%, China needs to continue its race in winning the battle for blue skies. What am I gonna do if I can't sell these masks? Oh, oh, uh, are you allergic to pollen? 
because this will also protect you against pollen and allergies and uh, or the sunshine, extreme cold, the wind, right? What? What? You don't need it now? <laughs> <laughs>